Good afternoon. So this morning I had a massive panic. So I dreamt that I slept in and actually missed our morning session. So I had a dream that I slept in and missed the morning session. Then I woke up and I was lit in my heart. I felt, actually felt my heart racing, panicking. And I looked at the time and it was like 10 to 5 in the morning. Now, lesson from this, real quick one, real simple one, is it's never your fit, it's never the thing that's actually the problem, but your thoughts about the thing that's the problem, your imagination. So whenever you say things, whenever you think things like, you know, I can't because, whenever you find yourself saying because or but, just consider if you're going into almost like la-la land mode where you think about maybe previous experiences and you start to Think of reasons why you can't do something, why you won't do something. Then consider, ask the question, are they actually true or not? Because often we'll make things up and just predict the future, pretend that something's happened, or in my case, dream it. It's not real, and that stops us actually doing the thing that we want to do. Or causes loads of fear and panic. Like, I literally woke up and I was like, my heart was going, oh my god. I woke up, like, thinking, oh my god, I've slept in. Flipping out, there's going to be people there waiting. But obviously... That wasn't the case. I'm an early bird and we've got two babies. So that's very unlikely to ever happen. Yet, my brain said it would. So think about an area where you do that maybe with fitness, maybe with weight loss. Maybe you say that you have no willpower. Maybe you say, I can never do that because I'm not fit enough. You've already lost if you say because or I would do that, but. So consider that. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. And if you want more information about kind of any, any help at the moment with anything like this, I am giving away my book for free, which goes over the six principles that we use in our coaching program that goes over kind of the motivation side of things, the willpower side of things, and just to help you do the things that you know you need to do and kind of get out your own way. Because there really is no, nothing stopping you apart from up here, the habits. You know, the things that we do, the beliefs that go around, go around and almost make us question, should we do it? Should we not? Or, and go back to our ways, our bad habits that actually make us feel exhausted. I always say to the ladies, it's more exhausting to actually beat yourself up for not doing the thing that you know you need to do than to do the thing, which is crazy, right? But it's self-awareness. It's going around that, going through it. And the more you go through it, the more self-aware you get, the easier it will become to change. Hope that helps. Any questions, do let me know. Take care. Have a great afternoon. And don't sleep in. Speak soon.